Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I finally have a favorites video. It's been so long since I have been filming because I've had uh, my wedding, which was like, took up all of my time. And then just, I was sick for like two weeks and I've kind of built up some things that I wanted to share with you guys. So to start off with, I'm going to start with um, skin stuff, I guess. And it's getting... Um, a little warmer spring is here and it's been a little bit sunnier so I've been working on my tan and I've been using the Saint Tropez self tan express this is a one hour tan oh my goodness I have some stuff on my hands that I forgot to wash off but it is so good it comes in this new bottle it I guess it's um, one hour is a light tan two hours is a medium tan and three hours is a dark tan but this is amazing I use this on the day of my wedding and my skin turned out perfect I left it on for like three or four hours and then I took a shower before I got ready for my wedding and it just looked so good no streaks nothing it was amazing another tanning product is um, from st. Moritz and this is a this is an instant wash off self tan so this is like if you don't have time to tan and exfoliate and do all of that and you are going somewhere and you're wearing shorts um, or even like if you're wearing a sleeveless top you just take some of this and apply it um, I did put some on today and this is the shimmer and it's just like a quick fix for when this is great also if um, like me for example when I self tan I wash my hands a lot so the first place it comes off is on my hands so I'll just take like a so I'll just take like an elf foundation brush they're like three dollars at Target I'll apply some and then just um, run it on the back of my hands so that everything is tan okay um, next product I have um, these two concealers are like what I've been using throughout the day to touch up so I'll usually do my makeup in the morning and by noon or one like things have just I have oily skin so um, I feel like my concealer comes off like it's just it doesn't look good so to freshen up or if I need to go somewhere after work I've been using the NYX HD concealers and this one is in porcelain and this one's just the yellow one sometimes I just use the porcelain if I just want to highlight under my eyes and get rid of any darkness and sometimes I'll use both of them just depending on you know what my skin's looking like that day if I'm a little bit darker I'll use both if I'm not feeling as tan, I'll just use the porcelain one. So these are awesome. Um, they're super lightweight, but they have a lot of coverage and they don't feel heavy on your skin at all. And this is my second time purchasing these. I purchased these a long time ago, used them up, and now I just decided to give them another go. They're convenient to have in my makeup bag. They don't take up a lot of space. So I really love those. Um, next for my lip combination, I've been using um, what I'm wearing now, and you guys have been asking me this, so um, Please Me from MAC, which is like a darker pink. And then over that, I've been applying um, Stila's Rosa. This is a one of Stila's liquid lipsticks. And just put that like on the center and tap it in. And then for the lip liner, I use 15C from Makeup Forever. It's really similar to Please Me. And it's like the perfect combination for me. So I've been loving that. Um, another thing I've been loving is this um, MAC Pigments in Vanilla. I also wore this on my wedding day. A lot of the things that I wore on my wedding day are some of my favorites now just because um, I just really love how my makeup turned out that day. And I will have a tutorial on that um, coming up. But it's just so pretty. It's like the most beautiful like white gold pigment and it just looks so good on your eyes um, it's not too white um, I do have that on today right now it's just perfect love it so much so that's been one of my favorites um, another thing I've been loving um, this is awesome and I've been so stuck on the same mascaras forever because they just work for me and I got this as like a free gift from Ulta I think and this is the Urban Decay Perversion Mascara in bigger or bigger blacker and batter and I only need one coat of this if I apply two coats I feel like it kind of weighs my eyelashes down but I usually always have to curl my lashes and sometimes mascaras can like weigh them down and take out the curl if I use just one coat of this it makes my lashes look I am talking so big and just like long and thick and perfect so um, I'm definitely going to be purchasing a full size of this when I run out of the trial size but it is awesome if you guys have tried this let me know if you have and what you think about it also another great thing about this is that it has like a natural I don't know if it's natural I don't like the plastic 
um, applicators. I like the brush applicators. It's actually a brush. So that's another plus that I like about this. Okay, next um, for um, the nail polish that I'm wearing right now, this is actually a gel polish. I got this from Sally's and it's called ASP Gel Polish. It's the Soak Off Gel Polish in Pink Whisper. I took this off and then put it back on because I love it so much. I wore this on my wedding day and it's just like a really nice pale pink love it and i just ordered some more of the uh, madam glam soak off polishes this one is light ruby that's the shade right there it looks so like a nice mauvey lavender shade um this one is love for lilac it's a really pretty lilac shade this is um call of the wild which is like a gray which i think i'm going to put this one on next and then this red called what's your type but those are so good and it's so perfect because i always want my nail polish to stay on like i always wish it would stay on longer and gel polish is like the perfect way to go but you have to be really careful taking the polish off because if you just peel it off you're going to ruin your nails so you have to like take a cotton ball and um, soak it in acetone like pure acetone put it on your nails and then wrap foil around them and just let them sit for a while like 10 or 15 minutes and then it just peels right off without taking off your nails so I learned that the hard way um, my nails are pretty bad because I just peeled it off thinking that that would be okay do not do that okay so next let's see um this is pretty good I've been loving this this is a flow I'm gonna say this wrong Atom atomizer atomizer I don't know basically what you do is you pour your um, perfume in there and you can take it on the go with you so I always like to have perfume and um, carrying like a big bottle is just in my bag I already have so much other so many other things in there it's heavy already like I don't need to pack that around so this is perfect all you do is you unscrew the bottom you spray your perfume in there you can fill it all the way up if you want to or halfway or whatever um, screw that back on and then the mist is so I don't know if you can see this it's like so perfect like it's not it's just like a nice even fine mist and it's like a good refresher so I've been keeping that in my bag this is from flow um, I'll have to put the link down below because I'm not sure how much this is or anything like that okay the next um, thing this is also from flow and I keep this in my bag and this is just like a mirror but it has lights on it I actually think it works better not if you use it like this but if you use this on the bottom like if you're in the car then you can see everything like if it's dark out um, but yeah you just turn that on and you just have a nice handy mirror to have in your bag which it's always good to have a nice mirror and it's really sturdy and I like it. It doesn't take up a lot of space. It's like thin so you can just slide it in one of the pockets. Okay, um, let's see. I think that's everything. I hope I didn't miss anything but those are like some things that I've really been loving a lot. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon. Bye.